Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and uh, this month, uh, which is July 2024, by the way, uh, we're going to do a financial analysis on a building that, that sold uh, this month, and uh, it'll be an interesting one for you. Uh, so if you enjoy getting these financial breakouts, uh, hit the subscription button, notification bell, and we'll make sure that you get sent these things at the beginning of every month. So when I say we've got an interesting one, it's because we're looking at uh, a larger building in our world is called a commercial uh, residential and it's a 17 unit building now the interesting thing about it is that they're townhouses okay so let's get right into it this uh property was for sale at four million nine fifty and it sold for just a hair under that uh, very quickly I might add uh, for four million eight sixty five now the scheduled rental income was stated to be almost three hundred and five thousand dollars when we deduct three percent for vacancy and bad debt that brings us down to an effective rental income of call it two hundred ninety five thousand dollars <throat> the operating expenses were stated to be thirty five thousand dollars Whoa, $35,000 on that? That's very low. Now, when we add in 5% for maintenance and, and management gives us total operating expenses of $64,000 and change. And that provides us uh, with a net operating income of $231,000. So just before I get into this, the reason why those expenses were so low is because they were townhouses and uh, whoever started this, the current landlord or previous ones or whatever, but the tenants paid for all their utilities, which is very rare, heat, hydro, water, sewer. So those expenses were just bare bone, which is absolutely wonderful for a landlord, absolutely wonderful. So what that did, uh, it provides us with a cap, uh, relatively high for, for this market, of 4.75%. Now again, the operating expense ratios, as we uh, just um, discussed, very, very low. I don't recall the last time I've seen something like this at almost 22%. You know, I'm uh, ecstatic when it's like 25%. So this is a, extremely low. It sold for 16 times the gross, 21 times the net. Now, in order for a property to break down, what we've been looking at uh, historically for the last few years is about a 45 to 50% down payment. And we've seen some moderation of that down to uh, you know, maybe 40% kind of thing. But look at this. This person was able to buy the property with a 32% down payment, which equates to $1,557,000. So um, the, the mortgage that uh, that leaves us with, by the way, we used a 4.89 mortgage rate at uh, amortized over 25 years, the five-year term. And uh, what that does is gives us an annual debt service on the existing mortgage of $228,000 and that provides us with uh, what we're looking for, uh, you know, uh, at least a small positive cash flow. In this case here, that 32% down payment uh, results in a cash flow of uh, $2,483 annually, and uh, that equates to uh, an ROI of 0.16%. Thank you for watching.